We live in an era of fraud in America. Not just in banking, but in government, education, religion, food. I just know that at the end of the day, average people are going to be the ones that are going to have to pay for all of this. Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right. I watched the movie The Big Short again. And the thing that stuck out to me about the movie, and there's a couple of things, just so you're aware. I'm going to leave a link for the video for you guys to check it out for free. It's on YouTube, so I'll leave the link. You guys can go over there and see the movie. It's talking about the uh, housing market bubble in 2008 and when it busted. You know, some people got rich off that situation. I know Michael Berry became famous for this. But the movie wasn't about their success story. The movie was about the millions of Americans across the United States that suffered from this. But this is a pattern that keeps happening over and over. And here we go again. You see, they figure it's been long enough that people will forgot that our government coordinated with the big bankers to defraud the American people, and they're doing it all over again. The fact that as an investor, we can't even believe or trust any of the numbers that's given to us by the government because they lie all the time. That should make you people pissed off. It's not about a political party because both of them are just as corrupt. But the fact that we continue to allow this over and over and over, and I've bitched about this over and over and over, but at the end of the movie for like, oh, I don't know, about 15 seconds ago. But that's great because a lot of bankers went to jail. The government changed all the rules. And then it goes, Err. no, that's not what happened. One banker went to jail and he was over in Switzerland. And what did America do? Nothing. We did occupy Wall Street. But what did they achieve out of it? Nothing. And people keep saying, well, Pimpy, you complain about it. But what are we supposed to do? I like what the people over there in New York are talking about. Just boycott paying your taxes because there's no representation with our taxes. None whatsoever. They're not doing what the people want. They're sending billions of dollars over to Ukraine. They're allowing in. The number is around 30-something million illegal immigrants here in the United States. We can't afford to take care of our own selves, but all of a sudden they magically found money. You guys, this is why I keep encouraging people to buy in a gold or silver. Let's get into this. Before we get started, do me a favor hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. This is the movie that I'm talking about that you guys should check out, The Big Short. Again, I will leave the link down below for you guys to check it out. Anyways, back in 2008, this big bubble happened. Millions of people were affected. They lost their retirement. People had to go back to work. Their nest egg that they had put aside, gone. Can you imagine you're retired, you're comfortable, and then all of a sudden, all of your money is gone. 401ks, the value of your property, there's nothing you could tap into. No way for you to survive. Those people that had gold and silver, they were able to wave through the storm. That's why I can't stress that enough. Not only that, it's bad enough that we have to deal with the fraudulent government, but you guys got to be very careful too about the people you're listening to. I, got, I was bumping heads with this lady who swore up and down that Melanie was a lady of God. And I was like, no, she is not a lady of God. She talks to God. No, she don't. Look at it right here. The Q idiots. I encourage you guys to go check out their YouTube channel. Because they shred Melanie every single day by bringing up evidence. In this particular video, not, I'm not going to play it. But in this particular video, she's claiming that God gave her a vision. And told her to go to the cryptocurrency. And she was steering everybody towards this fraudulent crypto scam that was there. And I was thinking to myself, the same thing the guy said on the Q-Idiot. If God was talking to her, why would God be steering her towards something that's a fraud? You guys got to use your head, man. This is the case right here. So let me ask you guys something. Do you believe God is talking to Melanie? That God would tell her to do this particular crypto and encourage people towards this crypto? Only to find out that it was a fraud? 
Is that what you're saying? God's a fraud? If you believe that Melanie is actually talking to God and God told her to come to this crypto, you believe that? And God told her to steal the money from the bank, from the bank teller? You believe that? You believe she's talking to God? Okay. Fed's favorite inflation reading highlights last week of quarter two. What to know this week, okay? Just know that the government is going to continue to lie to you. They're not your friends. Anyways, I don't want to get all into this. This is the crap that they're telling you and they're not being honest about. They're not being honest about the job numbers. They're not being honest about the inflation numbers. They're doing everything they can to make Biden look good so he can get reelected. The fact that they have to manipulate the market just to make somebody look good that's in office tells you what they really think of you. They should be always telling us the truth about the numbers. But instead, they choose to lie because we allow it. Oh, Gregory, my man. Here he is right here. I'm bringing in some reinforcements so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's listen to what Gregory has to say. I'll leave a link to his video down below in the description. 23rd, 2024. This is my newest segment of Markets, A Look Ahead. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. But I want to start off with something that I personally find exceedingly disturbing. This should really set the stage for you as to where we are as a society today and what is happening. Um, so I ran this poll. Um, I know some of you, a lot of you actually participated in this, uh, just about 4,000 of you. Here was my question and your response. So I wrote, in your opinion, is society today in a state of decay on multiple levels with people being divided or are people today coming together looking out for each other for the common good 94 percent of you said today society is in a state of decay with people being driven apart only six percent of you believe that society today is coming together for the common good do you, do you have any idea, honestly, of what this actually means? We're just done, okay? The, the game that is being played on every single one of us, I'm going to call this politrix. It's not politics. It's politrix. We are being misled on a grand scale at every single level. And this is nothing new. This is something that has been going on since the beginning of time. Um, and how the few have controlled the many or the minds of the multitudes since, uh, since the beginning of time as well. And this has led us to our current state of affairs. This is not just here in the United States. Um, this is a worldwide phenomenon, and this is exactly why we are in this state of affairs. We have allowed this to happen. Um, people... Are, are clearly not um, understanding what this is really all about, honestly. And if we don't look out for each other, if we don't start to come together, I've been telling you this for 10 freaking years, um, we're really done. So I, I, I found this extremely disturbing. 94% um, of you believe that society today is being driven apart. This is deliberate. There's no... This is not an accident, okay? The uh, the games that are being played on all of us and the people that are falling through the trap doors here. Uh, it's, it's very sad. It's a very sad state of affairs. And playing right into that is, is some information that we just got here. Right? At, I mean, look, this stuff is always hidden in plain sight, people. I've been telling you this, again, since the very beginning here. The Bureau of Labor Statistics has just released some information that, I mean, this is not going to be a surprise to you. If you follow this blog, what I'm about to tell you, these key findings here um, by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, it's it just plays right into what's happening to us, honestly. Um, so let's talk about this. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, imagine our shock. Are you ready? Sit down for this. Inflation continues to vastly outpace what people are earning. Okay. Uh, what are you actually earning anyway? Um, let's see. You and I work for the privilege to borrow 
cash into existence from whatever central bank you are living under, the rulership of that central bank. Okay, you don't even own the dollars or euros or whatever central bank issued note that you work for. You work for the right to borrow them from an issuing central bank for which you owe back to the issuing central bank plus interest they create out of nothing. You really, you've actually never been paid. I want to give a shout out to my friend Paul here, who really shed a lot of light on this for me. Um, you, you, you work for the privilege to borrow these debt notes from a central bank, for which again you pay taxes on. Okay, which that that's created out of thin air as well. But anyway, that's a whole different story. But so the Bureau of Labor Statistics is here stating very directly, obviously, that what people are earning uh, is not keeping up with the rate of inflation. And this has got nowhere to go but much worse. But let me read these key findings to you. I want you to focus on what I'm saying here. According to their own numbers, not what you and I believe to be true, although we know this. I mean, this is really kind of almost hitting the nail on the head. But, okay, BLS, 97%. 97% of occupation salaries have failed to keep up with inflation over the last five years. Well, how about this goes back way farther than five years. But again, okay, let's just focus on the last five years. Salaries have fallen on average of 8.2% in the last five years. This is interesting. Sanitation and environmental conservation related jobs have seen the largest salary cuts of all industries. Salaries have fallen an average of 10.4% in this industry. Despite this, housing prices have risen an average of 56.56% in five years. So what are they talking about? What does this boil down to? It always comes down to the root cause of the issues. The root cause of the issues is very simple to understand and you know exactly what I'm talking about even before it comes out of my freaking mouth here. Currency devaluation by central banks who are out here destroying all of us. Right here. Here's the, here's the, here's the key. This is something I've been preaching now for years. I keep telling you guys, people are like, you got a tinfoil hat wearing. Oh yeah, he's uh, into fear porn. This stuff isn't real. Yeah, it's real. This is what I'm talking about. I've been warning you about the government lying to you about your numbers, the central bank being involved. They're all part of the same corrupt system. It's unbelievable. Um, do you really believe people? Honestly, um, those of you, I mean, this is about 4,000 of you who have participated in this particular poll that I took here. 94% be, believe that society t today is in, in a state of decay. And this is for people all over the world, okay? This isn't just people here in the United States. This is a global thing we have going on here. People are being driven apart. How can we survive as a people, as a society, in this kind of... We can't. We are being decimated. We are being destroyed and systematically eradicated like insects. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying here, do you? I really hope that you do, people. We also found something else here. Look, this is also, look, this is disturbing to me. Even though what I'm about to tell you, even though you and I have been so far ahead of the curve on this, but what do we find out again? Despite the lies, the distractions, the deceptions, the propaganda, US, U.S. manufacturing and factory activity, including business investment, which is something I've been warning about for I don't know how freaking long here, these are in free fall, and it's only getting worse with what else is happening at the same time? Ballooning debts, ballooning deficits, uh, out, of, out of control government spending, the money velocity or the rate at which cash is moving through the economy, picking up. Well, meanwhile, our economy is contracting at its fastest pace worldwide. We've never seen anything like this before, but it's all good. Okay, Yellen said it's fine. Powell says it's fine creatures, things that they are here. Uh, we're doing great. Oh, absolutely. You know we are because that's what they're telling you. But you can't make this stuff up, people. Um, 
It's absolutely, completely insane. Now, let us move forward on to a couple of other important things. So, this is the Federal Reserve, okay? I want you to pay attention to this headline. Um, and I want to go into this a little bit with you. So, let me just read this to you. So, the Federal Reserve may ease stress capital buffers for the big banks, Goldman, Citi, and other big banks. Okay, let me explain this to you in case you don't already know. We already have a zero reserve system. Do you know what that means? Okay, let me, let me outline this for you real quick. <laughs> in the not so old days, these institutions had to keep 10% of your deposits in reserve. Okay, in other words, you go to the, uh, your institution, you deposit X. They have to keep 10% of X in reserve. That's your, not yours, but it's the central bank issued currency in your account. Today, it's zero, zero, uh, a zero reserve system. That's what we have. So what, so what they're talking about here, is the Federal Reserve is going to make it easy, even easier for these major institutions, of course, because they're all colluding here against us here. Uh, so no capital buffers. Let me, let me tell you what else this means. Major institutions here get paid by keeping cash in the Federal Reserve system. They get paid by the Federal Reserve. You understand? Now, this to me, is obviously part of the system that you and I have been discussing, a consolidation of power, okay? They're going to allow the smaller institutions and the regional institutions, I've been telling you this for I don't know how freaking long now, to fail. You and I called this out before anybody else did, okay? Anybody, even on the mainstream media, propaganda, YouTubers, notwithstanding anybody else. We said we were going to start to see failures of the, of the smaller and regional institutions, and it certainly has occurred. We called this before it happened. Okay, now with that said, this is a setup in my view, okay, leading more. We're going to see a domino effect, and there is no doubt in my mind. The, the, look, let's back up a little bit. The entire financial system is a fraud, starting with the Federal Reserve, which is not federal and has no reserves. You understand? The name alone is a fraud. Okay, the whole financial system is a fraud. Okay, it's a Ponzi. It's a Ponzi scheme on an epic scale. Now, this to me says, outlines exactly what you and I have been talking about. A consolidation of power right up to the top. And all this is going to mean here, what are they doing? What is actually happening is, again, we're being destroyed. And you all seem to know about it here. Okay. We're being divided. We're being conquered. We're, we're falling through the trap doors via the, the mechanism of politics and everything else. You understand? We're being deceived on a grand scale. We're told where to look. We're told who to love. We're told who to hate. Never let your enemy tell you how, how many of you there are. Never let the man that you're against form your opinions. This is the trick that's played on everyone who's oppressed. When you have a revolution in the country, the first thing you take over is the radio. And then you start telling the people that everybody, the war is over. And, 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 and so all of them surrender. No, they believe that thing right there. And once they take that over, they start telling you uh, where you are and where they are, and you fall right in line. It's plain thought control. In World War II, this country could use its uh, news media so that they can make the American public love whom they will and hate whom they will. 